Hello, I'm Ron Berthold and welcome to our program, Bioterrorism for the Healthcare Professional. A bioterrorist attack may be initially difficult to identify and could go undetected for days. Only when individuals present themselves to healthcare providers in emergency rooms, ambulatory clinics, or their physician's office with symptoms would any evidence appear. Even then, the initial symptoms might not be accurately diagnosed. Those present with symptoms could be at great distances from the origin of exposure by the time the symptoms occurred. The nurse performing triage often will be the first responder that the victim will encounter. Therefore, detection by the first responder is most important. The CDC has identified certain viruses as high priority agents for bioterrorism because they include organisms that pose a risk to national security. These diseases that are named Category A high priority biological diseases are anthrax, botulism, plague, smallpox, tularemia, and viral hemorrhagic fever. In this program, we will be discussing the origin, incubation time, signs and symptoms, modes of transmission, and treatment for these high priority diseases. And always use standard precautions. Animals and animal products are the primary source for naturally occurring anthrax. Plant or grass-eating animals ingest spores from the soil and become infected. Animal vaccination programs have greatly reduced mortality from anthrax. The systems affected are the skin or cutaneous, which is the most common. Other systems are the respiratory tract or inhalation, which is rare, the gastrointestinal tract, which is also rare, and the oropharyngeal form, which is the least common. 